Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do deductions of graphs. Let's first go over a few basic properties. Now the maximum is usually the highest point. The minimum is the lowest point. Then we have the amplitude. Now the amplitude is the maximum minus the minimum divided by 2 but it must be within one period. Now the reason I keep on saying that is because in grade 11 you're going to see that they only give you half the graph. So it's deceiving because in half the graph you only maybe see the maximum of 2 and 0 as your minimum but then your maximum in entire period is maybe 2 and minus 2. So the amplitude is usually the maximum minus the minimum divided by 2. But for me the safest place to get your amplitude is the very first term in front of your graph. The number that is in front of your graph is usually the perfect place to take out your amplitude. All you must remember is that amplitude is always positive. So if I told you minus 3 sin theta, my amplitude is going to equal to 3. So it's usually right in front. That would be the perfect place to get in. Then you've got the domain, which is the x values and the range, which is the y values, and then we've got the period. Now in grade 10 it's quite consistent. The period is one complete graph. The sin and cos it's 360 degrees and for 10 it's 180 degrees. Now let us look at the equation. When you're doing deductions besides the standard information then it would be the getting equation. If you are not familiar with how to get equations, then you can go back to our videos and see how do they get the equation. Now let us look at the following graph. They tell you f of x is sin x. You can clearly see which one is the sin graph and then they tell you g of x is the tan graph. Give the domain and the range of the f of x. So if I am talking of f of x, I am specifically talking of the red graph and now the light blue graph. So what is the domain? It means, so where is the graph starting and where is it ending in relation to the x-axis? So when I'm talking of domain, I'm looking at the x-axis. So it's moving from 0 and it's going to 360 degrees. So the domain is 0 to 360 degrees. Then they're asking what is the range? The range is the y. What is the highest point for the y value and what is the lowest point for the y value? Now if you see the lowest was minus 1 and the highest was 1. So my range is minus 1 to 1. Remember when you're doing domain and range it must be lowest to highest. So we have 0 to 360 minus 1 to 1. But if you change it around let's say you write 1 and then minus 1. It's incorrect because it's not in the correct order so you get no mark allocation. Let's look at number 2. Number 2, they want us to give the domain and range of the tan graph. Now the domain is from 0 to 360, but there is a few places where x is not acceptable. x cannot equal to 90 and x cannot equal to 270 degrees. So it literally goes right till the 90 and then it stops just before that. And then it starts again just after the 90. And then it does the same with 270. Now, the range. Look at the range. This graph goes on till forever. On the top and the bottom. So the range is minus infinity to infinity. But remember, infinity is round brackets. So for both of them, you would have round brackets. Then they're asking what is the maximum of f of x? The highest point of f of x is 1. Calculate the amplitude of g of x. And if there's no amplitude, explain why. Now, since this is going, you don't know the maximum, isn't it? You don't know the minimum. So for g of x, even though it's a 10 graph, and the equation in front, remember the number in front is 1. So usually I would tell you look at that but that is only for sin and cos because for a tan graph it goes on till forever and it goes at the bottom till forever. So 
For number 4, there is no amplitude. It doesn't have a highest point. You can't tell me this is the highest point because they would put arrows and they'll show you it goes on till forever and you know that a TN graph goes on till forever. It doesn't stop. It's not stopping there. It's going on and on and on. So there's no amplitude. Why? Why do we know there's no amplitude? Because the highest point is unknown. It goes up till, till infinity. Can you see? It's unknown. It goes up till infinity. There is no maximum and therefore there is no amplitude. Okay? Now look at number 5. Number 5 says, determine where g of x is greater than 0. Now g of x refers to the y-axis. So you basically want the y-axis to be positive. The only two places I'm talking about where g of x is greater than 0. So where the y is positive is going to be at this place and it's going to be at this place. But what they want the answers is the x values. What is the x values from here to this place? What is the x value from here to this place? So the x value is from 0 to 90. Right. Our answer is 0 to 90. At 0, I'm putting square brackets. But at 90, I'm putting a round bracket. Why? Because by 90, it's an asymptote. Then I have from 180 to 270. Again, at 270, a round bracket. But at 180, I'm going to use a square bracket. Now, why at 270? Again, a round bracket. Because it's an asymptote. Determine where g of x is greater than f of x. Now, if you see, g of x is here on top. But then at this point, what is on top? Look, f of x is on top and g of x is at the bottom. Then again it swaps. Here, g of x is on top and f of x is at the bottom. And then f of x, you're on top, f of x is on top and g of x is at the bottom. What is a nice way to do this is, usually when they cut the x-axis, they change. That's a common change point. Okay. And when they meet, those are common points and asymptotes. Now you need to be able to see this. Where is g of x on top of f of x? So it's from year to year. So what is from year to year? It is from, we want the x, remember? So again, it's from 0 just till before 90. So my answer again is 0 to 90. And then... At this place here, the f of x is on top and the g of x at the bottom. But then again, look. So my answer again is 180 degrees to 270 degrees. And then the last question says, give the period of both the graphs for a sin theta, which is f of x. We know it's 360 degrees. And for a g of x, since it's a tan graph, it's 180 degrees. Thank you for watching.